water? Yeah. yeah. You know how expensive that is? Uh... Stop it. Well, bottled water is not the only expensive water. The cost of water in Chicago has been rising sharply. So in the city of Chicago specifically, the water expense is really high. And for cooling towers like these guys, we've got to do something to solve that. So our solution is Tower Tech. It's a water-saving cooling tower. Let's dive in. When we look at the water cost breakdown for the city of Chicago specifically, you can see that we're around seven or eight dollars for a thousand gallons of water, and that's been increasing steadily over the past few years. That's not a planned price increase, that's intentional. They're trying to escalate the cost of water, and it's gonna be about a 33% price increase over these next few years when all is said and done in 2020. That's a lot of money to be paying for wasting water. When we look at some example projects, we can actually calculate out what your water savings is gonna be when we use a cooling uh, tower by Tower Tech. So we have drift elimination, we have the evaporation reduction, and then we have huge savings on the blowdown. And that's due to the reduced cycles of concentration, so we have less blowdown and less makeup water. And that's due to the fact that we use less chemical treatment. So on the top of the tower, we have a drift elimination system. Normally when you see a cooling tower, the fans are on top, and then you see a discharge of condensation in the air where the water is actually leaving the system. In this case, this drift elimination system is up above. It's the last thing on the top of the tower. And the idea there is that the water can condense there and not make its way out into the air and stay in the system. That'll help us conserve this water flow. Down below that drift elimination system, we have the actual nozzles themselves. That's the components in blue here. Those nozzles have a spray pattern that gives equal coverage over the whole fill media down below. And they also have a variable flow pattern to them. So they retract up and down as the water volume changes and the water pressure changes. So that way we can have reduced pump head as we're running these guys. After the water enters the fill media, it'll drain itself down and make its way into the water collection system. Where there it's drained off to the side. It can't go straight down because that's where our fans actually are. So it goes off to the side. It's moving at a pretty high velocity. The faster the water moves, the less likely it is for stuff to grow in there. And you probably notice too that everything in this entire system is kind of contained. We're not really open to the atmosphere, so less debris, less dirt, less leaves, less bugs, less everything will possibly get into the water. That allows us to not have to do as much blowdown, which reduces our cycles of concentration. And as you can see, there's absolutely no water dripping out of the bottom of this thing. Completely dry underneath. And as you can see behind me, there's no water carryover coming off the top of this. It's completely dry above that, so that's a, it's a health benefit as well. So when you get up close and look at the tower itself, you'll see that it's made out of a reinforced fiberglass. That's for purposes of longevity, right? So it's corrosion resistant. The outside structure of the tower itself has a 15 year parts and labor warranty on it. And this thing's built to last 30 years, right? It's pretty much indestructible. When you get up close, you'll see that we have modular fans underneath. That makes the, accessing the fan very easy. So we can service the fans without having to go over the top of the cooling tower. And we can run them in a modular fashion so we can stage them up, we can ramp them up together. Got some flexibility there on how we want to control it. With that reduction in pump energy that we talked about due to that lower head and the variable flow nozzles, we can actually save a bunch of energy. Combine that with variable speed fans, the independent control turning some on and some off, and then ramping them up and down as well, you can get a pretty good savings. In this example project here, almost 224,000 kilowatt hours a year savings. That was a 48% energy reduction for those folks. So in addition to the energy savings, we have the drift elimination that we talked about. We have the longevity of the equipment due to the materials of construction. We have the ease of maintenance with the ability to access the fans from underneath and get everything without having to be up on a ladder. And then of course we have all that water savings that we mentioned. So if that sounds like something you want on your project, give us a call. We'll help you out with the Tower Tech Cooling Tower.